Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and uh, today we're gonna do a video on a 339RB-4 and your question is that, David, you did many videos on this sewing machine. Why are you doing another video? Okay, so I'm gonna tell you what's going on. So this is a 339RB-4 and a very, very good sewing machine from console. It's a double needle walking foot. But we had a special customer that wanted a huge gauge. Look at this gauge. One and a half. What is gauge? Gauge is the spacing between the two needles. So we had to get the machine and change the gauge. And changing the gauge, people ask me, is not a one, two, three thing. It's not something that you press something and it changes the size. Uh, originally, by default, the machine counts by, by quarter inch. But you could go three eight, five sixteen. You could do half. You could do three quarter, seven eight, one, one and one eight, one and quarter, one and a half. Uh, I think one and a half is the max. I don't know. I might be wrong, but I think it's one and a half is the max. But you need a mechanic, or you need a very uh, a person that has a very good um, knowledge of it, or somebody that could go on YouTube and follow this thing. You could do it at home. If you're in the middle of nowhere and there is no mechanic there, you could obviously 100% uh, do it yourself, but it needs, it's not a one, two, three. It needs some attention. So the machine going to a customer that's making a huge, huge, huge tent, and they want he wanted us to do this one for him. And not only this, we had to a, put a puller in the back. And this is not a normal puller. This is a racing puller. This whole thing has to be uh, put into the machine, meaning on the table. The table has to be cut special. It's not one of those uh, on and off, meaning pulley that you just put on the back of the machine. This pulley, um, if you come back here again, thank you, is uh, pretty much connects to the machine, to the head, to the pulley right here and uh, it helps pulling the fabric, but it's gonna pull it in a way that you're not gonna lose any stitch, meaning that in constantly with the way the foot works, they don't see my hand, I'm working my hand. The way the foot works that is taking in, the puller also pulls. Now, this is a tri triple fit, meaning that the needle moves, the feet dog, the plate, and the foot, the whole entire shebang moves. It's a very heavy sewing machine, goes up to 10 inch length, a stitch length, 10, that's 10 millimeter. You got reverse, and then when you have reverse, we have connected this. It's the machine that when you do reverse, when you come down, you see? Show back here, when you do reverse, the foot goes back up, so this could go back and forth, right? Okay, so let's start. Uh, I'm not gonna go over. Should I go over it? Yes. Our machine comes with table, legs, motor, LED lamp, thread stand, everything included. And uh, this is a very, very, very heavy um, fabric, double layer. And I'm gonna go more. I'm gonna do four layers for you guys to see. Uh, this is also for a. Now, this machine is not a chain stitch, it's a lock stitch machine. And the difference between lock stitch and chain stitch is that lock stitch, you have bobbins on the bottom, okay? And this bobbin have thread on them and then they, they, they when they um, finish, you gotta change the bobbin and there's a bobbin winder right here that is included with the machine, obviously. You put the bobbin in here, you watch, you saw this so many times. Now, you come back here and I'm really, let me, So off the bed, I see, I hear a noise here that I could adjust it very easy. Give me one second. We have to, it could show there is a, this, this pulley is connected, is, is uh, touching the
Okay, we have two adjectives. Okay. You see this one? Sometimes these things happen. I'm happy that these things happen. So right now, the our installer, whoever was, I mean, we didn't do a final checkup, but you see that when I press, um, it makes this weird noise, but we have to, we have to adjust it, so we'll do it. Not a big deal. Um, it's good for you guys to see this stuff. I wanna make sure that uh, a lot of people make videos and they have, it's good to see inside too, as a matter of fact. A lot of people make videos and they have director, they have video man, cameraman, lighting. We don't have none of that stuff here. We do this when the order comes in, when the machine is ready, if I have time. Um, by the way, I love it, but sometimes um, it is, uh, very time consuming and we're very busy, but I love to do it. So, um, but it's good that things go wrong once in a while. So people don't think that everything is lovey-dovey. Let me take this out. This out. So for some reason, this is hitting this and we're gonna fix it. I wanna get rid of the noise. So it's good to see, see it's a timing belt here that connects this wheel pulley to the, uh, to the racer pulley, the whole entire thing. Here, there is a tension adjustment right here, okay? That you could uh, adjust the tension on how much you take the, uh, pull the fabric. But for that, just look at the back, this is the back. I hope you could see. This is the. Let me bring this up. All right. Stay back there, please. I'm gonna start sewing. So you see now, again, he's making that noise. Why? What is making the noise? Now, you see, but come back here, please. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show, give me that camera, I'm sorry. So you see, when I show, you still have this part here, meaning that I have to pull it. That's how you do it here, from here, you adjust. So when it pulls, it pulls correctly. Now, what I have to do is I have to fix this noise and I need to make sure that this noise doesn't bother you guys. And let's see, one second. Never sew without any fabric underneath, okay? I'll fix it, I think. All right, all good. I think now a little bit noise, but see, I don't like this because this has to pull it, pull everything out. So what I'm gonna do is, you see here, show this. I'm gonna let this go, release this.
I might not even be on this thing. Let's see if it's on. Is it on? Should be on. Yes, it's on. On, off. On, off. Perfect. Here we go. You see, all I did was adjusting this. You saw that? It was holding some fabric here, but I adjusted and now back here. Perfect. Let me get more of this fabric up here. And we're gonna do stitching again. Now, meanwhile, front, front, back, and I I'm gonna put it on a number 10, stitching, right? And uh, let's show again. We're gonna get rid of that noise soon. I mean, see how nicely this one goes right now. I'm gonna even do it more. Get rid of this. There we go. That's how it's supposed to be. Now, I have two layers here. I have two layers here. I'm gonna make it to a, I think that was six layer. Look, no problem. How fast it could go. See how fast it could nicely. Yeah. Two needles, one and a half inch gauge. That's how fast it can be worked. So this racer is not cheap, it's about 1500 bucks. This whole entire thing probably six, seven thousand dollars because you need table, you have to cut out the special table, you have to install this, and the, the whole shebang, but it's a great sewing machine. Let's see what comes inside. Look, look, look what they did. Look what they sewed. Ah, unbelievable. This is thick, this is heavy stuff. You got, the you got the part book. You got a bunch of accessories. These are extra heavy or large bobbins. And you got needle with 135 by 17. You get oil somewhere. Uh, you got these brushes for the motor. You got fuel for the motor. You got a tiny um, brake for the motor. Uh, we had this. And uh, what else we have? These are the stuff for the... Um, these are the stuff for the racing. The racing, you could go on our website, we have this racing on our website, and there are many, many, many type of racing pulley. Um, obviously, it even comes with the layout on how to cut out for PT puller. This is a thick cutter for a PT puller, all right? and. Other accessories that is needed, that I don't know what it is, but I'm sure for different um, stuff you're gonna be using it. Again, this is a 339RB-4, it's a um, lock stitch machine, double needle, walking foot with the racing attachment on it. Um, Great sewing machine, double needle, one and a half inch gate on a regular table. Obviously a little bit wider. Let me show you how wider it is. Mm. 21 inch, I think they usually come 20 inch. Let me see, that's a regular one. Yes, usually it's 20 inch, so this is a little bit wider, 21 inch. With all the accessories, you saw how I adjusted the, the tension on the puller. Uh, the more, or machine comes with oil. Uh, 
it's this machine does not have a oil pan. No, all these red spots here, you just put oil, oil, drop, drop of oil every day, how often you use. And it also has a, a, a stitch uh, safety clutch right here. If you go and try to sew something very hard and stop, instead of breaking the needle, breaking the hook, breaking the feed dog, it will lock down. You press this button right here and you wiggle this and it will release it. Um, a very, very good machine. And uh, we're very happy with console. We sell a lot of console machines and we're happy to do that for them and we get very good support with them. Again, a console 339RB-4, but we have uh, change the gauge on this machine from a quarter inch to one and a half inch with the puller. Great machine, T leg and with the K leg, uh, servo motor, the whole nine yards. Thank you for watching. This is David from Gold Star Tool. Go to our website and buy one of these machines or any other machine that we have them on sale today. Thank you for watching. David from Gold Star Tool.